on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hunter Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't know what I got, but it's a giant catch. That right there, baby, is deep dropping. There it is. That's him, that's him. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses absolutely love Flushmaster, a game changer for multiple outboards. Everything you've seen is totally legit, super easy install, plug and play right out of the box. Simply click, push, done. Start flushing at seamule.com. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Boy, we've got an absolutely awesome adventure in store. We are aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. We're on our annual long range trip. You guys have seen these trips. We do them every year out here to Pulley Ridge, Rankin Ridge, uh, Halfway Ledge, areas way past the Dry Tortugas. We fish aboard the legendary Yankee Captains, invite 20, 22 anglers or so, and I'll tell you what, it's just an absolutely awesome adventure. I like to say, even when it's bad, it's good. And when it's good, it could really just be fantastic. I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about the area that we're fishing and really kind of explain to you what separates Pulley Ridge or what is so attractive about Pulley Ridge to so many fishermen and understand what we're talking about. We've got the state of Florida, we've got the Florida Keys, that are coming down from the state that make a sharp right turn heading westward all the way to Key West. Then 50 to 60 miles off of Key West, you've got the world famous Dry Tortuga. It's just a, an epic fishery known for its snapper and grouper fishing. However, way beyond that, another 60 to 80 miles is Pulley Ridge. It's an area that is of high concern because it really needs to be protected for, you know, it, it, Gosh, how do I say this right? It's a feeder area. You know, the things that are happening out in Pulley Ridge affect all of the fishing, not only around the Florida Keys, but certainly all up and down the eastern seaboard. It really makes a big difference. So the area out here, it's a breeding ground. It's a breeding ground from a wide variety of deep water corals that flourish in this environment. Some of the deepest coral colonies anywhere, certainly around the continental United States and some very unique plate corals. Then you've got algaes, lettuce-like, almost leaf-like algaes that grow within the coral. And that creates this fantastic habitat. And these deep water corals seem to be doing a lot better than the shallow water corals as far as bleaching is concerned and as far as, you know, the quality of the habitat. And because it's so healthy and it needs to stay healthy, there's such a wide variety of life out here. We're talking about every type of bottom fish known in Florida. I'm not gonna sit here and list them because it's dozens. And then of course, you've got the pelagic species. So it's a diversified fishery from the top of the water column to the bottom of the water column. And then on top of that, it's practically untouched. You know, nowadays, boats like our Sea Hunter, these high performance, multi outboard center consoles have the fuel, have the range, have the capabilities, have the safety features that allow anglers to make it all the way out here on single day trips. You can leave well before dawn and be home by happy hour with a boatload of fish. Uh, and it's distant, you know, we're talking about a destination that best case scenario, 100 plus miles from Key West, that's best case scenario, and upwards of 200 miles from other departure points up and down the Eastern Seaboard. But it's worth it. It's worth it because of the diversification. You've got daytime deep dropping and water that ranges in 400 foot depths all the way to beyond 1,000 feet. 
So a wide variety of different bottom dwellers across that entire range. And then you have a fantastic nighttime fishery for snappers, groupers, blackfin tunas up on the ledge, up on the bank above the ledge in water that's generally 225 feet or so. And two different fisheries all together. You know, I like to say you've got Pulley Ridge by day and then you've got Pulley Ridge after hours. And that's my goal on this trip is to really break it down and to talk to you in detail about how to rig, how to fish properly during the day. If you're fishing with power assist equipment, if you are jigging in the deep water during the day, but then also how to fish Pulley Ridge after hours under the cover of darkness at night. And that's a different fishery altogether. And I think that's what attracts me the most is I'm going on a fishing trip that isn't a daytime trip or a nighttime trip. It's both. I'm going on a fishing trip that isn't only a bottom fishing trip or a pelagic trip. It's both. And when you cover and, and combine all of that together, it really leaves the door wide open for just a bucket list type of trip, something that you'll never forget. And I'll tell you what, you can do this if you've got, you know, these, again, these big high powered center consoles, that's an option, but perhaps an even better option and one that we certainly enjoy taking advantage of is jumping on the Yankee captains. Okay. This boat's legendary. Captain Greg Mercurio here. He pioneered this fishery out here. Nobody knows it better than this guy. That's the truth of the matter. I don't care who you are. So, you know, I feel confident that I'm coming so far with a boat, a crew that has more local knowledge than anyone else in existence. And it allows me to focus on getting the job done and really enjoying a great trip. But success on these trips all boils down to proper preparation and proper execution. You miss one ingredient, one vital ingredient in either of those formulas. And I'm not saying you're going home empty handed because that's almost impossible. But it doesn't mean that every drop you're going to connect with a trophy fish because you're not. Okay, you've got to weed through a lot of fish. You've got to know how to fish properly with 20 other guys on the boat. You've got to be rigged properly. And it's the details that are going to make a big difference. And that's what we're going to talk about here. So stay tuned. We've got a double episode special lined up for you. Pulley Ridge by day, Pulley Ridge after hours. Get ready to get tight. Fishing Booker has thousands of local guides, over 40,000 fishing trips, and hassle-free booking all at your fingertips. For everything from inshore fly fishing to deep sea trolling, and even more unique experiences such as bow and spear fishing, head to fishingbooker.com to take a look at some of the best deals and reserve your fishing trip today. Fishing Booker, fishing trips made easy. Dependable Terminal Tackle, it's vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilament, 4-0 carbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond Fishing Products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. Chaos. Gear matters. And we got him, baby. We got him. Oh, yeah. what a slob. That's what I'm talking about, baby, right there. What a stud. That right there, baby, is deep dropping. Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Amongst cats, there are many lions, but only one rules the pride. Sea Hunter CTS. Carbon Kevlar construction. Optimum stability. Decisive performance. Sea Hunter boats. Factory direct sales, factory direct service. Number one in owner experience. Schedule a zero obligation sea trial and feel the difference. Here we go, first drop. Pulley Ridge 2023, starting off at about 550 feet. 
See what these conditions are doing. Looks like we're sliding forward here. Boom, just hit. Oh, definitely holding bottom fine with two pounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, big grouper, big grouper. Whoa. One of the advantages of using an eight foot rod on a head boat when deep dropping is the mobility, being able to go over, under, around, you know, whereas a bent butt rod, shorter, might be a better option on a private boat, on, you know, a center console. It's a bigger fish, Mary, than a vermilion for sure. But, uh, you know, in this situation with a lot of guys fishing, you want that extra length that's gonna be a big advantage. Rigging station. Proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. Let's go with a squid on the top hook. And we'll put a piece of fresh meat on the bottom. Mix it up a little bit. Caught a snapper, small snapper. Chaos, 20 to 40 or a 30 to 60 pound blank, eight foot. Just perfect, you know, over the years, that's what we found to be the ideal setup. Matched to a Shimano Beastmaster loaded with the 40 pound. Look at this thing digging, huh? Look at that right tip. Fishing 40 pound diamond braid. I find that to be the perfect balance. It allows me to fish the least amount of lead, it's the most sensitive strength. So just a combination of all those factors, maximum line capacity, the 40 pound diamond braid. But don't forget about that top shot because it has no elasticity. You need some monofilament top shot on there. Something a little bit better than the vermilion, that's for sure. You know, when you're bringing these fish up on the bottom on these power assist reels, don't just slam it into full speed. You know, you've got to exercise a level of uh, finesse, even bringing these fish up on these powerful reels, regardless of what size they are. Of course, if it's small, you know, a juvenile snapper, or a little vermilion, you can whiz them up. But anything that's got any weight to it, take your time. You know, remember, there's a lot of elements at play. The sinker's spinning, the boat's going up and down, the fish is likely spinning around the rig. So you got them on. And as long as you're gaining line, you're winning. You can see when, oh, there he's got it. See that? Right there, you got it. Damn. Come on, let it go. Let it go. Ugh. Let it go. Got it again. It's like a tug of war with dolphins, with flipper. Look at them out there. See them all out there? Oh. And what they do is they grab the fish. Fortunately, they don't get hooked. They'll just grab the fish until you put so much pressure on it, it'll literally just rip right off the rig. Here it comes. Oh, look at that, I got my fish, got my queen. Or no, it's a big snapper. Yellow. Big nice yellow eye. Get on up here. Yep, nothing wrong with that one. You can see that 9-0 circle hook, that VMC, got him right in the corner of the mouth. I like to fish that bigger hook. You don't want to fish anything less than a 9-0 out here, that's for sure. Even a five pound snapper like that will suck it down beauty the best days happen out here where the only thing on the line is what you can catch and every cast could be the one that fills your memories with the fish of your lifetime mercury engines are made for exploring so are you go boldly the weather is beautiful and the fishing is great. 
Captain Pips has the largest rental boat fleet in the Keys, including new twin engine center consoles. Five locations, 150 boats ready to fish and cruise, and we deliver. Stay and play in a fully appointed cottage or catch the sunset off your very own Aqua Lodge. For the best hassle-free vacation the entire family will enjoy, no one does the Florida Keys better than Captain Pips. Mention Florida Sport Fishing and receive 10% off your entire stay. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call 1-800-800-1640 today. Need a new ride for your fishing ventures? Something to carry a few poles? Or maybe something stronger? Southside Kia has a huge selection of pre-owned trucks and SUVs to choose from. Many come with our exclusive lifetime warranty to give you more peace of mind. Plus, we'll make it easier to upgrade with up to 5,000 more for your trade. Get down to the water in a pre-owned vehicle from Southside Kia. Visit SouthsideKiaJacks.com. Get your next ride at Southside. So just came back up for another drift. What do we learn on that first drift? We learn that there's not a lot of current at all. We're getting away with two pounds of lead, fishing 500 to 600 feet as the first drop here on pulley. Obviously, we're over the ledge doing some deep dropping here right out of the gate this morning. Oftentimes with this deep dropping, as the day progresses, the bite picks up. I, I find that when it's cloudy and overcast like this, the bite's weak. When clear blue skies and sunny, the bite's strong. All right, we're right in that gauntlet right now. We've got porpoises, sharks. Hopefully we get this fish up past all those predators. It's one of the things that you got to deal with out here. About 2000, oh gosh, 12, 13. Nobody even really fished out here other than the commercial guys. Oh, it looks like we might get this fish up. Small fish, but. There we go. A little grouper, maybe. No, tile fish. Yeah, nice tile. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful blue line. Look at that hook. Right there. Perfect. I mean, right at the hinge, too. Look at that. You just. Right out. Fins all flared out right there. Remember, that fish stays, lives right on the bottom in burrows. If your bait's not right on the bottom, you're not gonna pick off the tiles. That's a beautiful fish. Isn't it? I mean, the way his fins are all flared open like that. Colors. I th yeah, I think that's, and certainly one of the best eating fish in the ocean just right there. Pro's tip, proudly presented by Debro Fishing. Innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. So drifting along here, what I'm doing is really just paying attention to that rig. I want to keep that rig right on the bottom, especially now when there's some tile fish around and saw a couple of snowies come up. So I like to keep that rig right on the bottom. We're not drifting very fast at all. There's very little wind, very little current. And then if I get a bite, I don't want to react too quickly because I don't want to pull it away from them. I don't want to sting the fish, you know, and surprise them and have them run off and grab somebody else's bait because he's got a lot of options here, right? With 20 guys fishing, a lot of options. So it's really important that you're paying close attention, get a bite, let them eat it. Just drop it back, give them a couple seconds to let them suck that bait down and get that hook down his throat before you come tight. And if you don't get a bite in a few minutes, reel it up. Check your bait, make sure you're not tangled, make sure you got a nice fresh piece of bait. You know, when I sit here and I think about some of the common questions guys ask me about fishing, you know, on these head boats and Pulley Ridge, on the Yankee Captains, one of the big questions is where on the boat should I fish? You know, should I fish up in the bow? Should I fish in the stern? The truth is it doesn't really matter. I mean, everybody has opportunities at fish from bow to stern, from the pulpit to literally right to the back of the boat. I prefer up here in the bow only because it gives us a little bit more room to maneuver around, but it really doesn't matter. What's more important 
is how much time you put at the rail, you know? And if you put in your time, you'll have your shots. There's, there's no doubt about it. You'll, you'll get your chances. So it really doesn't matter exactly where you're fishing. Some of the other things are lead. You know, how much lead should I fish? Well, you know, the crew's gonna tell you. They're gonna give you a recommendation based on the conditions. If you're not aware of exactly how much lead to fish, listen to what they say to you, because it's gonna make a big difference. If you can get away with two pounds, don't fish four pounds. Okay, it really will make a huge difference in your presentation and in your fish catching ability. Bait is another popular question. What's the best bait? And what I say, it's fresh. Squid works, it's a staple, there's no question. Squid is the number one staple. Everything eats it, but there's a problem with squid. The vermilions and the smaller juvenile stuff, they can pick that stuff off the hook in a second. So I like to fish something with skin. You know, if it's bonita, if it's, you know, a strip of some sort of jack or mackerel, just something with skin that tends to stay on the hook a little bit better. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Since 1977, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Captains has set the standard for overnight fishing. With the latest sonar technology and unrivaled service, no one does it better. Whet your appetite with a two or three day trip to the world famous Dry Tortugas, or jump aboard an epic four day adventure to the rich waters of Pulley Ridge and beyond. Fish around the clock, relax in air conditioned comfort, catch the trophy of a lifetime. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow and seconds. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. You know, a cool topic to talk about here for a second is detecting the strike. You know, and I know right out of the gate, you would think that that's obvious, right? And it can be, of course, right? You get a bigger fish, he's just really cranking on the bait, big grouper, or big queen, whatever it is, you're gonna know about it. If you don't know you're getting a bite, you shouldn't be fishing and you certainly shouldn't be out here. But remember that there's a lot of drag being created from the lead itself, from six to 800 feet of braid in the water. There's a lot of other factors at play. The rig itself creates resistance. So sometimes the smallest tap could actually be a monster fish. And at other times, what feels like a big fish is a little one pound per million, you know? So really, I guess the lesson is you gotta stay alert the entire time, have situational awareness, understand where your rig is at all times. Am I on the bottom? How far off the bottom am I? I'm in free spool the entire time. If I wanna connect with the bottom, I just reduce the resistance on my thumb and boom, I'm right back there to the bottom. Clobber debate, hit the bottom, look at that rod tip. Hit the bottom and just annihilated it. There we go. This fish got some weight to it for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, stopping the reel. You can't even move them. Look at this. Oh. oh, don't tell me somebody grabbed them. Oh no. No, no. There we go. It's coming again. Coming down. Oh. Fish. That is a nice fish, right? Look at the fin structure on that snowy, and clearly you can see why it's called a snowy, obviously with all those white dots. The difference between that and the yellow edge, a yellow edge would be, of course, yellow right across the top and around the tips of the fins and the tail, but no yellow there, clearly a snowy. Beautiful, making it snow in the Florida Keys. Another question that's often asked is time of the year, when, when the fish pulley ridge you know, the fish are here, they live here, they breed here. But conditions to get out here are gonna, you know, really dictate the best time of the year. So certainly spring through fall is when everybody pretty much fishes out here. 
winter time becomes tough, you know, even well into March and April. We've got a lot of wind down here in the Keys. A lot of trips are canceled and postponed. But the fish are here, and if you can get out here during the winter, if there's a, a weather window and the conditions are right, you can really put a hurt on them. He's not in the pool either? No way, just the two guys that didn't go in the pool. Still, I got beautiful fish, look at that thing. You may want to walk up here, no? I mean, <laughs> right, unplug and get on up here. My God, dude, look at that one. That's a dinosaur. Woo! Mama. Woo! Hold that thing up, brother. That's why we fish Pulley Ridge. Right there, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Monster right here. Look at the mouth on that thing. My God, dude. That thing could inhale a watermelon. Look at those teeth. Massive teeth. But that's it. Every single time you drop down, you don't know if that's going to eat your bait. That's why every single connection has to be perfect. Because you don't know when that next drop is going to be the fish of a lifetime. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, up for another drift. <laughs>